What's up guys, it's Valk here. Slightly different video than usual gameplay today, but it's a topic that people ask me about daily being a full-time streamer. Today we're going to look at how to get the most out of a single streaming PC. A single streaming PC means using only one computer for encoding a stream along with playing the game. Single streaming PCs can run into some issues, so this guide will hopefully help streamers get the most out of their systems, or look into cost-effective solutions without needing a dual PC setup. Personally today, I run a dual PC stream, but for many years I was running a single streaming PC, which is far more affordable. Some issues you can run into however with a single system are stuttering streams with lots of lag caused by an overloading encoder, low FPS and in-game lag. This can create a frustrating experience for the streamer and poor viewing experience on the opposite end. The reason all this happens is because you're trying to make the computer work harder than it can handle. Typically, streamers have heard of CPU x264 encoding, which you will probably have seen on OBS. x264 utilizes the processor as the main source to encode the video, which takes a good chunk of resource. The downside to CPU encoding is that if your game requires a large amount of processing power, along with the streaming software, you're going to run into some bottlenecking issues, causing the system to encounter the stuttering and overloading issues, giving you a hit all around, including the FPS in your game. However, NVIDIA have their own encoder called NVENC, or NVIDIA Encoder, clever right, which is a selectable option on OBS. NVENC utilizes a special chip on the graphics card which sole purpose is to encode information for videos, meaning the rest of your graphics card is untouched and ready to churn out the frames for the games you play. Normally I would recommend a minimum of an i7 processor for a good quality stream, but NVENC allows you to have a lesser powerful processor such as an i5 which typically wouldn't be recommended and still have a smooth stream. There have been a couple of different versions of NVENC and the latest which are featured on the 16 and 20 series graphics cards have vastly improved performance over the previous generation, giving up to an extra 15% performance boost through architectural updates on the chip. This means superior image quality with less performance impact, being on par with an X264 medium preset. This setting is found under OBS as NVIDIA NVENC H.264 new. Well, let's take a look on how to enable NVIDIA NVENC for OBS. First of all, open OBS and click on settings. Uh, and then you want to click on the output setting here. Now, this might be set to simple. So what you want to do is go to the top and click on advanced. And then you'll have the encoder drop down here with different types of encoders. So you've got X264, the processor encoder, the older NVENC, and then the uh, the new NVENC here. So this is for the 16 and 20 series GPUs. So on here, um, you want to select that. First thing is this tick box here, basically for streaming service encoder settings. Uh, if you accidentally make a mistake on um, putting some values in, that will correct it on the server side, which is super nice. Uh, rate control. So the rate control determines the rate at which the frames is going to be encoded. Um, I've got that on CBR, which means consistent bit rate. Um, bit rate is here. This is basically determined on how good your internet upload speed is. Uh, keyframe interval I'd set to zero. Um, most streaming services allow up to two, um, but t zero is auto, so whatever the streaming service allows. Uh, preset is going to be max quality, so of course this is just the uh, determines on how much we put on the encoder um, and the quality. So uh, I'd say set it to max quality to begin with, and if you find any performance issues, then slowly drop this down to see which one is going to be the best for you. Um, profile, this is something that you don't particularly need to know about, but what it does is uh, the profile determines a group of settings in the H.264 uh, codec. It doesn't really impact any sort of performance, so you can just set that to high and uh, you probably won't need to touch that as well. Look ahead, um, it's mostly unchecked and it's for low motion games. So this allows the encoder to dynamically uh, select the number of B frames between zero and the number of B frames you specify. So B frames are great because they increase the quality of the images but they consume uh, a lot of your available bitrate so um, sometimes it's great to have on sometimes it's not uh, and Soko uh, Psycho Visual Tuning interesting name um, this is good for anything which has a uh, high motion so it improves the image quality on movement so if you've got fast like racing games or something which is uh, quicker this is something that you should uh, enable to see if it's going to help improve the quality again GPU this is just um, which selected graphics card in your system is going to be processing the uh, the encoder so if you have multiple graphics cards inside your system uh, then you can select one as like a dedicated NVENC um, kind of GPU and finally you have max B frames this is set to two for low motion content such as Tomb Raider you can increase this to four B frames increase image quality but consume bitrate which decrease image quality on movement if you see pixelation or artifacting on your stream you may want to reduce this 
All right, so that's as easy as it needs to be for setting up the NVIDIA NVENC encoder. Uh, and you're pretty much good to go uh, with uh, your settings here. So all you need to do then is click apply and then that will be uh, applied for your stream. And that's it. You're set up with the NVENC encoder, freeing up the CPU usage to help you more in the games you're playing for even better and smoother gameplay. This video was sponsored by NVIDIA and Overclockers UK, a company I used to work at for many years. Overclockers is one of the market leading computer e-tailers in the UK, providing all the components you need including the new 16 and 20 series graphics cards, meaning you can take advantage of the new NVENC new encoder. The links are in the description so you can go and check them out. I've made a few of the streamer educational videos before on my channel and I'm looking to do more in the future. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Hopefully the NVENC encoder will make you have a better and smoother streaming experience. If you've got anything to say, make sure to drop into the comments and I look forward to having you back on another video.